Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what? thought Harry. A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' toilets! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! Distract the troll and I'll find Hermione. Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the troll's club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback juice to keep those toilets from hitting us.
Wow! Did you see that? Thank you, boys. <laughs> Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall.